Hey all, it's the Gnosis and we'll continue where we left off with the uh, whole uh, speedrun and stuff that we call no booster and stuff like that. I think my record was something like 13 hours or something like that, but that was back on the PlayStation version. Oh, that's very, very nice. Uh, Rogue Plume is kind of what we want to get our hands on. Still there with them. Somewhere there you can see 14 for Shokamog. Which is insane how cheap Shokamog is in comparison to a lot of things. But of course also once you reach certain levels, uh, things will be less, you know, deadly. And this of course the Corel Reactor and stuff like that. But this was always a very cool like centerpiece and stuff like that with the whole glow here and stuff like that, you know. And here you can meet some interesting enemies and this is actually where you steal the diamond pin if I remember correctly here. Uh, okay, three chances it's not that much of a door. But from there, from the from the whole the guy here is where you can steal the where you can steal the thing. But yeah, but I feel like the summons, the summons and enemy skills were made for you to like get kills for it, rather than all the fire magic, for example, and stuff like that. So that's kind of when you meant to start, like wanting to get kills and stuff like that, you know, with characters. You can't sadly exit over there, by the way, so yeah. And this is where you have a sequel thing. It's nice. And this is also where we want to be falling down here and stuff that, and we want to go to the left and to the right here and stuff that. But this is also where we will pick up W machine gun and stuff. Like that as well. First, we want to go up here. We want to fall down. We want to press up. Uh, we want to press uh, left. Smash X. You can do this even with speed increase to, to grab it. And one of these will be one of these will be a star pendant, and the other will be a weapon. Wizard staff for uh, for Ares, uh, which is nice. Yes, yes, yes. This is an encounter that we really will want to get here. Uh, now Barrett is going to show the mob, and Claude is going to attack. I do realize that we haven't gotten rid of the whole weight thing and stuff that we had it on active before you know and stuff that but then uh, we never sent it back and stuff that and sure having active on is nice and stuff that because enemies are going to do more turns you will take more damage but uh, but it actually is really useful at this point because otherwise things like things like petrify and like death sentence will count so much faster when well, you don't have the weight command on of that because when you don't have when you have the active set to active for example then the thing is very annoying and this is where you pick up W machine gun for Barrett which we're gonna be using one slot with and uh, yeah for now uh, have the machine gun and we I'm gonna go heal and restore here as well, we don't wanna pick I put that there. Uh, let's put Pokemon, let's put Eevee there, and let's put Steel there as well. On the double off stuff. And I will give him a revive here as well. So yeah, we're going with all material here for her. And stuff like that. And I mean, technically right at this point, it doesn't matter if you can use a double growth. I mean, technically you can gain this slot back now by using the Shinobeta and stuff like that, but yeah. The main problem is, of course, if you use the Shinobeta, then you cannot use the elemental and stuff like that, and the Shiva combination and stuff like that, so uh, that's the main problem. 
that we want a PAHS here, so be quick to just have her equip the wizard staff. You can see a double there as you can see. That's a double gold weapon the wizard staff. Uh, by the way, we don't have her gold stick anymore, so yeah, uh, so Keep in mind that you will actually you will actually lose on the stuff that she was wearing by the way, so keep that in mind as well. Uh, we have no tent here though, which is a bit bad. So we're at seven hours now. I mean things are eventually gonna start going quicker once we're done with certain things on this one. Them. Uh, and now we'll go to the right here. I kind of wish that they would have made it so that you could have gotten more items and stuff that here. So that now you will of course get another star pendant here, which is nice. But a lot of times I use cell the whole firing and stuff that even though firing is very good for the whole for the whole skis when count because skis of course makes two elemental attacks and then he also has lightning for one of his attacks and stuff that, and sure the all armor that you get is kinda enough and stuff that, but yeah. Um, turbo Ether here. And then you jump there and then you get transform material. Now said of course the transform material isn't that much useful because Minion Toad is great of course, especially because you can actually affect that status on your opponent. And here we can go and sweep the party member stop by the way. So. Ooh, this thing counts about that's a rare setup for it. Uh Diva. Oops, that's very nice. This is a really good encounter by the way. This encounter is good for a lot of reasons, by the way, but yeah. Uh, keep in mind that there's a super good steel that is coming up, by the way. It's really, really powerful. Uh, so that's the first all level up there, which is nice. And I am really tempted to turbo either here. Let's just do Great Cloud. What? Hmm? Okay. <laughs> that is crazy how high these this are up the whole train tracks and stuff like that. Kako! I might be wondering why are you using Barret for the for, for this specific fight here. Keep man of course that both doing is very very useful. Uh, the gold plumes that you can get from from the encounter with those birds and stuff that even when the big birds can you still have a chance to get the whole bolt plume. Who bolt plume cast bolt plume on everything? Uh, It's just bad to get the kill here. Is that let you just get back and get the kill? I still haven't got a mind blow yet, I think, on Barret at this point. It's pretty insane. Normally, I would just keep him in the back row now, but we're still gonna go with him in the front row because. He has got the mind blow at least, so uh, you know. Now we're gonna rob them birds. <laughs> Oh 
you here looks like a chocobo. But it's so weird, you wouldn't figure out that that would be the bird, you know, you would figure out some of the things. Ten Phoenix sounds. But it's not a bad setup, oh, by the way, ten Phoenix sounds like pretty decent cash wise. Uh, It's not that much that you need for it to get duck very very high and stuff that. I think it's of course also that when it comes to come back to you know it's kinda of better to do it later because the you know fights when you get there are gonna be pretty tricky unless you're using specific setups and stuff that but yeah. Which is why it plus is so important and stuff that but yeah. Um, so come on. They do have a fixed damage value by the way and stuff that. Um, although we're gonna get a very very good single target item here if we get lucky here. Uh, with our steals we can steal a lot of them and stuff that depending on how many we can to play with it's sake. You can get I think it's the right arm that you can get, not the 18th cannon, 18th cannon is later. Well, this is the fight I wanna see actually. Um, I think it will survive. Nice. That makes sense, right? Because it key kind of has a horn thing, you know, so that. Then the funny floor. Better if you make sure it's ready to finish it. You can steal the right arm from stuff that. You can use the escape after you've stolen it. Uh, okay, this is odd. Seal it up. Alright, it's gonna have to attack. I've never seen the bird 
and camp on the bridge, actually. And, and the funny thing is with this uh, with this side encounters, then you're back on front row doesn't matter until the other side dies, basically. Back until one of the sides are completely killed there, you cannot get the whole uh, thing. Get the right encounter. Yes. So we steal. Don't steal anything. Just keep stealing. Just go right on. Steal. I'm pretty certain that we. Don't need to finish the fight, right? Right, I'll expose damage against the fallen opponents. And technically, one is enough. Getting more there could be used, but because there are certain encounters, you definitely want to get more uh, right arms with. Wait here. Yeah, and this is not Corel, which is basically the new, newly built Corel and stuff that, so yeah. Please buy something, anything will do. Uh, and you sell the, uh, the high potion, you sell the 10 uh, Phoenix down for 1500 there. And we sell the uh, Bob Plum in a second. Uh, 10 is of course worth 250, which is important to keep that in mind just in case. Uh, we have a star pendant that we can sell for 2000. It's not bad, uh, of course, if we didn't buy all of those weapons, by the way, at that, that point we probably could have had over 20,000 now, but it's still not worth getting the golden ticket at that point, by the way, so yeah. We can have, of course, some mortals here as well, you can get the force still here, which is important to pick up them too. Well. Now, uh, don't do the setup yet because we don't need no material at this point. Uh, also, de equip him with protect vest, uh, and we can uh, uh, right, really quick claw with force stealer, which is actually stronger for him than his previous weapon. No, it's not true. For example, like atomic scissor, for example, is stronger than double machine gun. Uh, but for still, of course, he's stronger than Hard Edge. And Hard Edge is a bit more black. This is the first weapon that he gets that has 100 in aggressive. Same thing for Barrett. But Tifa's strong. Tifa's motor drive is actually pretty good. Although Grand Grove is better in terms of like the crit. Because they also can't decide the crit because it's more than just a hand staffing. But yeah, but yeah. Uh, that's nice. So now we have a double growth on three party members. Uh, the question is, do we already start with the whole platinum bangle setup? Yes. Platinum bangle on him. But we're not going to go platinum bangle with all of them. And you can get transform material here as well, which is a bit weird. These can be worth to get the main space and cornucopia because those can be used for us of that, but we're not going to be using them. Um, that's the house, I believe, that you return too late to get the... Uh... This is where you rest, and you rest for only 50 gila rooms, uh, which is nice. It is two uh, two letters or two names 
technically it work. No, it would technically not take me. It's not gonna work. So. Yeah, uh, we could do the grabby claws already at this point, I think, and stuff like that. But, uh, because we're just gonna spend 3000 here and stuff like that, yeah. Now that's what the North Korea or Corel used to look back that way, and this is basically what the Death Prison is. This is Prison is the Corel and stuff like that, so yeah. So technically you could say that the gold, gold source of being built kind of saved not Corel or saved Corel, but yeah. But I think it did because they didn't earn any money on it and stuff like that. Of course, and then they got convinced into using the whole Mexico thing and stuff like that. Like, I, I'm gonna say, to be honest, like, I hope that they can make it so that you can take a gift when you dine. Stuff that now I know that in the original of course, like the story is really big, you know, and the time has to die, you know, but there it gets you know pieces off and stuff like that. But yeah. Also if you didn't pick up mathematics, you can pick up mathematics in the Korean prison as well. And stuff like that. But it's nice of course to get a second like mathematics and stuff like that. The Korean was burned by Shima troops. Person had to react to them, they 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 play the rebel faction. And that's why they burned the town basically. Because of course he lost money and stuff that's it. And your party members uh, matters a bit here and stuff like that can do. Because when you, we first get to the prison, that's the party member we will be using. But the reason why you remove your setup here is because I haven't decided exactly what my setup is going to be. Because now we go to Gold Source. It's important here to visit Indo and stuff like that. It's very important to do. No, I don't know how much GP we're gonna get the first time we're here because you generally want to return here later once you have a bunch of all material and, and stuff like that or, or once you have sold some all material like it's all, all material by the way it sends from one million deal and stuff like that which is really how you pick them out and stuff like that which is also why you and it's the main reason why you actually do the whole uh, with the whole grinding you know, and stuff like that is used to get the old materia uh, on this one because that gives you the funds more than necessary to get the funds get a lot of GP and yes you can't rely on the thing that comes out there and stuff like that because that is not the this too yes we all use the for the thing a pass here You can technically go into the battle square already because you cannot miss out on you cannot miss out on Katie's character basically. And of course you could get the magic called Kumba also at the, uh, early on there from the fourth combo battle if we would have actually won it properly and stuff like that. But you waste so much money on on the fourth condor stuff, like no matter really how you do it and stuff like that. Which is the main problem and stuff like that. And even if you keep it. Okay, so now is the question. Uh, do we go with T for good or with Ariat? Uh, Ariat actually only gets a few levels here, so. Uh, um, yeah, she's not going to be able to protect West, by the way. Uh, 
countries come here that you can go by into Battle Square Hill already at this point, but yeah, but then you get this. I'm sorry, we're currently renovating because they stop you from going there and doing stuff because that has to do with the trigger. Uh, anyway, now we're going to Ghost, which is the third one. Because we need to enter here. Brains. Brains. Uh, Turtles Paradise number three. Yeah. You cannot take a room there, sadly, without, you know, paying and stuff that, so yeah. Uh, Yes, you can buy ethers here, which is actually pretty interesting and stuff that, but yes, you can buy ethers for 1500 there. I forgot how many, how many stores in the game the factory sells the ethers and stuff that, but yeah. But yeah, you read the number 3 sign there. Uh, in Cosmo Canyon, of course, you need to remember which one is which and stuff that. Uh, so yeah, and then we're going to Wonder Scare now. Do, do, do. What are you looking so down for? No, 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 sorry, my name is. Can't destroy. This is not a bad part, man, by the way, but we are not gonna use slots, by the way, and stuff that. Uh, like, I'm gonna limit myself to only using dice. Just because of, yes, you can get, like, the game over and stuff that on the opponent, but you can also get, you know, so you game over yourself and stuff that. But I'm not good at slots, so I wouldn't be able to do it anyway, but I could do the, like, the whole, whole almost complete cat face by mistake, and then, like, getting game over is not fun. Of course, even if you only get one more cat face and you get two of something else, you still wipe one of your party members away, but if you get two of them and then you fail the, th the third one, then you basically get like game over on the entire party, but yeah. And Kitty is big here. Uh, Kitty, of course, has the silver on it, which is really good, but we're going to be using Platinum Bangle on him, so that. And we could Perfect West on Kitsis as well. So he starts off with Manipulate and Transform uh, Materia. Because we're gonna pretty much leave as this. Uh, and we wanna go with the well, Element Skill, by the way, when uh, as well. But yeah, but here we go, we're gonna go with all Materia, all Materia, all Materia, all Materia, and Steel. Or wait, not steel. Uh, we're gonna actually go with HP plus. Actually, we use steel and HP plus. Actually, do this, and uh, so we can go with restore. Restore our material. Uh, hey, cause keep in mind that. I think right that even if you have lowered Martyr Magic on one enemy skill, you can still learn it on the second one, I think. I love that. But you only need one character equipped with, of course, Martyr Magic to get the uh, 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 elemental there because we kind of want the elemental to level up and want the steel to level up quick as well. That steel, uh, not sure what uh, Choco Monk. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Get 
get the air as well and get the air. Why is it really light? So we can get those to level up. Uh, Right, and he has some to six instinct, so he doesn't have very high strength, but he still cannot flap so with the yellow megaphone and set up the end. But we want to use two platinum uh, bangles so far. We want to eventually use a third one or more third party member and stuff that. Uh, and this is, by the way, where you can play you grab a hands machine. You can also hear, uh, you have zero EP, blah blah blah, exchange. For example, you have the ticket, you have a uh, gold ticket, you have the, the 500 one, if I'm correct, the white is used to have not, I think it is, uh, at this point, yeah. But I think that you really want to be playing is this one thing, but I forgot where you want to stand at what part of the machine here. Uh, you want to stand here at. Uh, Okay, we cannot play on that machine, so we have to... This is normally where the speed up is really good, by the way. Uh, you can see for the most part it's gonna be pretty, pretty bad here. Uh, I mean, I said we are going to use those as but this is really what we want to use the boost as again or stuff that, but there's also one of the cats over here, for example. And I forgot which one it is that has the highest uh, chance to get like the good stuff. Basically here you can use stand here and spam with, with, the, with the other thing, but yeah, but one of them will be better basically and stuff that like I think that the one that he's standing at is the one that I will have the highest chance of winning and stuff that. But you can also need to figure out because you know I want you at least to be able to see one. Uh, the main problem is of course 10 will will oh yeah, make it extra. Yeah. We have 80,000, uh, yeah. so since it's 100 each time, 10 of these is 1,000. Or oh, 1 GP, but that's not really what we're after. But the fact that I show you that you can get Mega Luxe there, 8 GP, there we go. That's 8 GP right there. Now the highest I've possibly seen from this, I think I've seen 300 at one point. And stuff that, that I've also seen, I think, I think you can also get 500 maybe, even as of that. But yeah, but it's actually different the percentage of each of these machines, by the way, and stuff that, like what you get and stuff that. Now, I kind of wish that they would have put some really cool items in here, for example, that this could be an alternative way to get, for example, get the umbrella and stuff that. But I don't know if it's still possible to do that thing, by the way. Uh, 3 GP. Now normally it's used to 1 GP, 3 GP, 5 GP and 10 GP that you get most of the time. And stuff like that. But a bunch of 3 GP is also very, very good, by the way, because, you know, in comparison to what it costs to do basically, like it's, you know, Of course, technically, I would say it's worth getting the one that he get. By the way, for 300, especially if you get lucky and you get a big, a big thing here and stuff like that. Yeah. And keep in mind, 100 of these will be 10,000 basically. So yeah, so uh, I want to check though here because.
because these ones don't count as the one that has survived. I don't know what those are supposed to be, technically, if they're meant to be machine to machines or whatever, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can't play on this one yet. That is not until later. Uh, I want to see what the big win is in this, in this one though, because 80 GP is the thing that we got in the other machine, so that mechanic stuff is nice. But I think that those machines on the table right are oh, normally the ones that are better and stuff there, because yeah. But yeah, but I know that I've seen like 30 GP, I've seen like 80 GP, I've seen 50 GP, but I've also seen like 100, you know, and, and about and stuff like that. So it will take a lot of attempts and stuff like that to get a lot of stuff. But it's also a way to get in regular money and stuff like that as well. You might think, oh, but you're spending 100 guild. Sure, that's correct, but. Here's the thing, you can basically play it an infinite amount due to the fact that there is a shop instead of it, because think about this, right? So what have we gotten so far? We have gotten a, a, a bunch of potions, we have gotten a, uh, a phoenix down, we have gotten one ether, so we have gotten one ether and stuff like that, and then you sell the potions, you sell the ether and you sell the phoenix down and stuff like that, and then that will actually give you back some of the money and stuff like that. Of course, if you use the speed increase here, then you can just get stuff somewhat quicker and stuff that, uh, which is nice. Now, yes, getting the getting the gear is pretty pretty rare, by the way. This is the main problem. But we're also most likely going to be doing the bog house, so we have the other one GP now. Keep in mind, of course, that 20 GP is enough for an ether, which is important to remember. And stuff that, so you could theoretically trade a bunch of ethers and then you just get way more money and stuff like that. Because a hundred that's like five ethers and stuff like that, and then you know. But you have to think about like the ratio, like how long, how much money are you spending to get like a certain amount of you know, stuff. We need to check here, let's keep an eye out no money and stuff like that. We allow the speed up for this, by the way. But I mean, this is what you have to do back in the day as well, but by the way, instead of the ring being anything. And right, this uh, is also possible to max out from portions with this, by the way. And stuff like that. And max out portions. Okay, portions don't sell for a lot. But as you see, if you max potions out, then they're actually worth a bit to sell like 99 potions and stuff like that. I want to check though, can, can I? Yeah, no. How many now? Count to three potions. And by the way, this super bike is kind of worth playing as well. Uh, don't worry about me, go ahead and play. Uh, more game house, right? So basically, the Mog is gonna do a certain thing when he is eaten enough, then he will make the happy noise and stuff that, otherwise he will be hungry. And then basically, you need to wait. Like, that's the thing, like, I remember when I was younger, never beating this because never realizing, like, oh, how do you make the text box go away? Stuff that because he needs to impress on the girl that he can fly basically. At first, he needs coupon us to fly, and then he needs to impress the girl and stuff that, you know. So. And yeah, and basically, he does a specific noise when he's done, and he actually jumps around and he makes the otherwise that he's still hungry. He's still hungry, so then you give him another one. And then when he's happy, you just wait a certain amount of time. So he's still hungry. That's the third coupon. 
just getting hungry. And my fourth people not. He's still hungry. My fifth people not. Now he's happy. Then you just wait. You just wait. Don't press anything. Just wait. Right, and this is where I often thought that oh, uh, oh, like what are you supposed to do, right? Because there's like no command to like finish or whatever, right? But then he realizes. So that's the only thing thing you look for basically is for the for him to do the happy sound, but then you just wait. Now he flies. And then you get high one new stick, no, no, no. And that's how they become an adult, the full fledged. Okay. And then he went to sleep, that was all he did. Time but relax. And then comes the female of which is pink, which is hot. Oh, what's this? Here come a male of Think about those people who cannot spare like with all that oh it's mug house and mug is about areas. <laughs> now he needs to impress take your Thank you, my coupon out. And now it's gonna be faster by the way. When it uh, before he gets up, he's still hungry. So one. So we need what five or six last time? Two. He gets hungry quickly, man. That's the third one. And then he's happy after three. So it's six first and then it's three. Or five first and then three. Yeah. So now he was happy already. And then he just wait. And I believe this is like what? It's, it's 30. GP finishing this, I think, right? So the GP or 50 GP or whatever. And then you also receive a bunch of items, right? It's more than just receiving the GP. It's flying, Mark was able to do it! That's why I'm very graceful flying for. Now there's so many moments. Her name is Maggie. <laughs> M1 Garandolf. Two, three, yellow one. Here we go. Easy. I might try to oh I played Moog House, but yeah, now it's a this game. I'm impressed and so here takes this, 30 GP. Alright, it, it, there is only like 30 GP from this. Alright, this this I wanna catch here as well. Oh pretty catch here. Right, it's this one, right? Uh, you could theoretically do the gear back at this point because it can give you a speed source, I believe. So that happened, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna to treat GP now at this point. Keep in mind though that each attempt of the battle square will be 10 GP by the way. 
tap. I'm going to try this machine again, by the way, because this was the machine that we received a lot of last time. Just like that. It's the one that we received 80 gb from. And I know that 80 is very, very rare and stuff like that, but here's the thing, right? The Megalith field could have a role in the keeping and stuff that that can happen. And that's why it can be so much keeping, because the way it works, basically, is... Uh, is that when you do the Chocobo races, for example, you can choose to instead get, get the item or get the GP. And then, depending on what item was, if, if, for example, the item in the Chocobo racing would have been Megalixie, then you can see how much a Megalixie is possibly worth. So basically, it's that you're getting the value. So for example, the Ether, for example, there, if you can see that over here, the Ether costs like 200 GP or whatever, I don't think that that's what it's worth in the for racing or whatever right because all of the the things that are worth in the Chocobo racing all is the amount of gap that they give you here instead of the item so basically when you get the gap it replaces a certain specific item so I'm guessing that potion is just one gap for example ether is probably more and stuff that and then you know because there is a bunch of different items that you can technically get, you know. You can get regular elixirs here as well, I believe. Yeah, make elixir. Yeah. Because it's basically, if that make elixir doesn't roll make elixir and it instead rolls the GP, then it's a lot. What's the map, by the way? 130 GP. Okay. This is that this is just 100 each time, but if you speed this up, it can go very, very quickly. But he is kind of ho hogging the best machine, kind of. And I forgot when he disappears from there, if that's not until back later on. Yeah. Sometimes also you can get too super lucky with the machine and stuff like that, but yeah. And of course, yes, you can receive 150 GP as well, you can receive 300 as well. And of course, if we get, if we for example get the 300, then we can use, we can get the, uh, we can just get the golden ticket, by the way. And you might say, oh, the, getting the golden ticket is not worth it, but then you're saving like 30,000 gil by doing that. No one's not that Now the thing is of course with, the, by the way, with the, uh, once we get access to Hugnon, in Hugnon of course you can break face with lightning because all of the enemies there are weak to lightning and stuff like that, so, so you know, that is why for example visiting, uh, visiting Gogaga might be worth doing before, by the way, and stuff like that, and it might be better to actually break her once we get Vincent and stuff like that, so Vincent can stop getting kills and stuff like that, yeah. I would want to get the, start, the item for the on mount nivel as well beforehand. So we can at least have gold armor as a defense. Although there is to say right, once you get tiny bonker for example, then it is better to to go to you know because at that point basically if you go if you go to the thing that you can get the rune omelets and stuff like that. And the rune omelets is of course the best have a growth uh, armor in game. So there is no armor that is triple, but here we are growth sadly, you know, stuff that. I don't know how long we're gonna be doing this, by the way. Uh, because we don't need to earn all the game now, by the way. Uh, okay, so almost 15 minutes. What's now? 147. Yeah, that's gonna do it for now at least. Uh, and you can also speak to the US at certain place, but yeah. 
But keep in mind that with the speed square, by the way, uh, with the speed square we can do a sort of thing. But the question is, how did Dine get up here to shoot the like the characters and stuff that? Like, how did he gain access up here? Like that. Like, hasn't he been in the prison for a long time or whatever, right? Then how does he make it like albums of that? And that's why they end up in the prison because they're round there and stuff that. Because here's the thing, right? If they would use the exam and the bodies there, they would be used immediately to see that they're shot, you know, and stuff that. Like, just, yeah. Sadly, you never see these servers sort of anywhere, by the way, at an action first encounter or an enemy encounter, even and stuff that. Because the robot jumps down with you and then what happens? You end up here, but the robot is like nowhere to be seen and stuff that. Corel prison, except this is actually Corel the town and stuff that. You can also go and fight the sandworm, by the way. Uh, so yeah. It's yeah, it's just an encounter I really don't want to get here, by the way. So yeah. I do have steel right on all uh, the characters. Steel, steel, and steel. that we go inside the house there as quickly as possible. Yeah. Uh, go with the here. Level up. Alright, so now we have fight two. And now we just do which is the closest? Lighting is the closest actually, but just uh, stay so so you just replace hers with lighting there. Uh, okay, but we're almost inside, so now we uh, actually use all of her material and then put it on Barrett. Barrett, okay, Barrett is not here yet, so uh, I can use the change to stuff with Barrett and the house from the flashback by the way. Oh, no. 
But well, although we're gonna grind, you need as much luck you get as possible and stuff there, depending on, of course, how unlucky you are with certain of the encounters, by the way, that you can get. <clears throat> yeah. But here, of course, you get forced to use Barret to answer the test, but Barret will, I think, he ends dying immediately with the right arm and stuff that, yeah. And then he basically found out here how Barret lost his whole arm and stuff that, you know, because he got stopped in the arm for holding the dime, basically. And then also got stopped in his arm, you know. Right, we cannot get more than his mathematic. Yeah, right. We have manipulate as well. Uh, which marks actually want to put on here? that you can go down to, by the way, and do a few things that, you know, so that and there's some stuff that you can talk to. I forgot if there was stuff you can do with in here, though, so we're probably gonna have to check. Well, yes, I think that we cannot go around the house that way, so we have to actually go through the house here to reach this part here. This building right here. Tent here, potions and stuff that. So then, uh, so we can sell. Uh, we can sell. To, uh, so what is it for each one? Twenty-five. So twenty-nine. One is some hundred twenty-five. Some are fifty for each. Uh, all right, that's uh, something to do with Phoenix Town as well. Some of the money back, we didn't get all the money back, of course, but yeah. Uh... And we can, of course, farm at the place. But yeah, anyway, uh, we have to stop now so we get the next uh, video going.